hi everyone to my assembly language tutorial now in my previous uh, movies I have shown you that how you can uh, execute an hello world program written in assembly language and also some more options about the assembler itself now it's time to look into the coding mm, so that we can understand what things are so uh, if you take a look at out here so you can see some mnemonics then some register and some constants or some mnemonics then some register and then some level or data whatever else so whatever you do in assembly you you have to write an um, instruction to the microprocessor and basically you organize them in such a way so they does the job for you so as you write statements in the programming language and they are the basic building blocks so it's similar with the uh, assembly too and frankly speaking uh, they are the only thing you have within your disposal of programming so let's see how instructions are organized so here we go now uh, in an instruction what we have a label you can have a label you can have followed by the opcode and then the operands and then you want to put some comment on it then you can put a comment by using semicolon remember the assembler uh, doesn't force you to put all these things in here label and comments and the semicolon that is followed up by from the comment that the semicolon so they are optional but you have to write of course an operands uh, in your assembly instruction and the operators are separated by commas as you can see and blank slide lines are value statements and assembly program is totally made of this collection of the instructions only so let's take a look at there in our program here we have our program you can see this is the label okay followed by the uh, opcode that is a move for moving some content and then is operands by the way let me tell you this uh, instruction does what it moves the four data to this EAX register so if you try to put a comment we can put a comment we load value uh, we load four say into the EX register now from the programming context of hello world um, this Ford represent the printf um, and I will tell you later so now just uh, for now we just see the how the instructions are so as you can see that there is a label and there is some opcode and there is in the register that's uh, that is operands and then another one and uh, you can see the operands are separated by a comma sign now this is how the instructions are organized and when you look down you know they are all the same this is the opcode part these are the operands and they have different meanings obviously and in case of int it's opcode uh, for interrupt and it's only one operand one immediate value and the next part I will discuss in the next movie what are the sections in uh, assembly and why it is needed by the way thanks for watching this video and you can get uh, other videos of assembly uh, in my channel youtube.com therefore slash so see you on the next movie